Simon YouTube and welcome back to Theme Deck Corner. Today we are going to be looking over the Raiders deck from Dark Explorers. We're hitting up the Vintage Road once more um, and at the time of this recording, if you head on over to the shop, you are able to pick this up for a nice 750 coins. I forgot to mention that part in the Zekrom video because you know what happens when you upload a video and the shop changes, the Zekrom deck was not available at the time of the video actually going live. So, it made it very difficult for you guys to pick it up. Anyway, Kofagrigus is our main mon for this deck. Starting off with 100 HP, it is a Psychic type stage one, has that Chuck attack two colorless 40 times the amount of tool cards that you discard from your hand. Um, personally, I don't see this doing a whole lot of damage because, again, theme deck, you're not going to have too many items, and I can say there are five in this. So you have a maximum of, you know, 200 damage. If you have all five of them in your hand at once, and if you decide to discard all five of them at once. It's not that great. Uh, you have lock up, two psychic, 40 damage. The defending Pokemon cannot retreat during your opponent's next turn. So if you have ways of switching your opponent's active, uh, lock up will keep whatever whatever mon you want up there nice and tight. Um, now as you can see, we are playing a black and white era deck, so we have tons of Pokemon to go through today, and not so many trainers. Starting up, we have Chansey, 100 HP, colorless Pokemon with continuous tumble. For two colorless energy, you get to flip a coin until you get tails and you'll do 30 damage for each heads you land on. So technically this isn't too bad. Um, Continuous Tumble can do a lot of damage or no damage, so use it at extreme caution. Next up you've got Chadot, 70 HP, colorless Pokemon, has Tone Death, for one colorless energy will do 10 damage, you get to flip a coin, if heads the defending Pokemon is now confused, and we know how powerful confusion is. Uh, you also have Pack, two colorless, 30 damage. Overall, I wouldn't be investing too much into this. Maybe just one entry for Tone Deaf, but that's about it. Um, next up, we have Eevee and Umbreon, Espeon, two Umbreon, 100 HP, Dark type, has that Confuse Ray, one Dark, uh, low, one Dark, no, just one colorless entry, you'll do 20 damage, and you will confuse your opponent, which is great. Um, you also have the Shadow Shutdown, one Dark, two colorless, 60 damage, you get to flip two coins. If both of them are heads, discard all energies attached to the defending Pokemon. This is pretty strong. I'm not gonna deny that. Even in today's format, like completely stopping your opponent from having their energy, Umbreon's attacks are pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, then you've also got Aspion, 90 HP Psychic type, has a Solar Revelation, prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to this po uh, done to each of your Pokemon that has any energy attached to it. So no confusion, no poison, none of that stuff. It's just straight up damage, which is great. I kind of like that. And also a Psy Report, one psychic, two colorless, 60 damage. Your opponent reveals their hand. Information is great. I like these two. Nice pair in this deck. Uh, then you've got Sableye, uh, 70 HP, dark type Pokemon, has Confuse Ray. For one colorless energy, you'll do 10. Flip a coin if heads the defending Pokemon is not confused. And you have a very important attack in Sableye. Because this is what's going to keep Kofagrigus uh, attacking. And that is Junk Hunt. For one Dark Energy, you get to put two item cards from your discard pile into your hand. This revolves around your items. Well, obviously your items. But your your tool cards, your all those wonderful things. You can kind of get them back at the cost of an attack. So this is really not too bad. Um, next up is our Stage 2 of the deck, Crocodile, 150 HP Dark Type. Has that Dark Clamp for one Dark, two colorless, 60 damage. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn, which is great. And then you have Bombast, two Dark, two colorless, 40 times the amount of prizes you have taken. So the more prizes you've taken, the more damage this is going to deal out. The further into this game, the better Crocodile gets. Um, next up, you have Scrafty. Stage 1 Dark type with 100 HP has Headbutt for 2 colorless, 30 damage, and then Crushing Blow, 2 dark, 1 colorless for 70, and you get to flip a coin if has discard energy attached to the defending Pokemon. So not bad. I'm not even gonna... It's a, it's a Woobat, guys. It's a Woobat. There's two of them. They're not great. Um, next up is the Energy Search. We're getting into our item cards, and these again are all... As long as it's an item, they are... Uh, 
they are obtainable from Junk Hunt, so keep that in mind. So you can always go for energy searches if you really want those energies to set up early game. Um, you can start going with it and then Junk Hunt to get them back, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, you have Pokemon Communication, same idea. Put a Pokemon from your hand back on to your deck, then go for another one. And again, this is Junk Huntable. So keeping in mind here, Junk Hunt will keep you going pretty nicely. Um, you've got Charon, not Junk Huntable, but still pretty good for drawing three cards. And you have a Juniper, which is absolutely wonderful in these decks. Um, now this is an interesting tool card because I've never seen it personally. Uh, Dark Claw. I've never been playing. I only started in Furious Fists, so any of the Black and White Era stuff is not relative to me. I, I'm not 100% sure with it. But anyway, uh, if this card is attached to a dark Pokemon, each of the attacks of that Pokemon does 20 more damage. So you attach this to like the Crocodile or even the Umbreon, and you're doing some decent damage. And of course, it is sacrificable to the Cofregrigus. Uh, we have the Eviolite, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is a basic Pokemon and damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. Um, very nice for those basics as you're getting into it. Think of Chansey, now giving it a 20 damage reduction. Not bad, not bad. Uh, you do have the XP share, which is a fantastic one for these kind of decks because you get to save one of your energies for a Pokemon later on. Um, you get the Rocky Helmet, if, this Pokemon, uh, if, it's, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is attacked, you get to put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon, which is great. Uh, and then lastly, we've only got energy, which is 12 dark and 6, six psychic, which is actually kind of funny considering it's a psychic deck, because the main Pokemon is psychic, but it's mostly got dark types. So needless to say, uh, that is Raiders. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think we will be doing? One win? Two wins? No wins? One win? One loss? Let me know in the comments what you believe before we get into these. And uh, we are going to get into these battles right here, right now, on some Pokemon theme deck corner. Alright guys, match number one is against Bratters playing the Lunala deck, which we're going to see a lot of nowadays. Just so you guys know, it's pretty much going to be Lunala, Mental Might, the Decidueye deck. There's a lot of good, good decks right now, so... You'll see the consistency pretty quickly if you play theme deck format. But we are going to be playing first, which is great. Um, we have a lot of basics, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad. I can kind of drop them all down and just kind of <clears throat> go for a Juniper turn one. And then I'll have a nice full hand of potential evolutions. Hoping for that Umbreon, because the Umbreon might be the big ticket here. Might be the big ticket. He's got like a little Charmander hat on. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, so we do see that Stuffle leads. Um, I can go for Rocky Helmet here. Why not? Dark Energy. Um, I can Juniper, because I don't know which one of these I'm going to get the evolution of anyway. Um, I get a Sableye, which is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to go for an energy uh, search. This way I don't draw this on the next turn. It, it's in my hand. I'm good to go. Uh, and we can start trying to set up this Crocorock if I can get that Crocodile. Um, that's just going to be it for the turn, though. We've set up a nice defense. We have the opportunity to go for more damage. We have the possibility to retreat as well, trying to keep that energy search or whatever we want back in. Uh, because I can get that Eviolite as well, which is great. I get a Woobat, which really is not going to help me much. I might... Mm. I'm just going to go for a Smash Kick. Um... And the reason for that is I want to set this thing up. I have a feeling it might be our, our win ticket. Um, and I don't need to use Sableye just yet. We are going to see a switch come in. My opponent just switches or passes, which is absolutely wonderful for me. Um, we're just going to set up Sableye in that regard. And uh, I'm going to switch up myself. into Sableye. I can give Sableye the, uh... I may have made a misplay, actually. I did not... Did I get 
Save the line before I sacked the Evilite. Either way, we're gonna junk hunt. We're gonna get these two back. I'm gonna give Sableye the Eviolite, which is absolutely great, and then I can go for another energy search and stop us from getting so many energies <clears throat> from draws. That way I can try and get some other stuff. Now uh, we see an energy drop onto the Cosmoc in the back, and he just passes. So he's not in the best of positions. Uh, we go for the energy search. Again, getting more energy out of the deck is always wonderful. Uh, we can drop the Eevee Light down. And I'm going to continue setting up Crocodile. Uh, uh, Crocorock. Because even if I don't get Crocodile, it's still pretty de decent. <clears throat> I'm going to go for that Confuser in this turn, because I do not need energy. And we do land it which is great. So the confusion goes off. 10 damage. We're looking pretty decent, actually. Energy Lotto. Potential energy drop here for my opponent. Uh, it does get a fire energy. Might be putting that on the Salandit or on the Stuffle, depending on the situation. Does go for the Stuffle. Uh, and has to pass the turn again. Uh, we get another Eevee. <clears throat> At this point, I can just start setting up Krokorok uh, with the Psychic Energies, and I only have one item in there, so I might as well hit for another 10. <clears throat> Get a little bit of damage down. I don't need to worry about it. My opponent's still confused. <clears throat> we see a third energy hit that Stuffle, which is terrible news. Terrible news. Okay. We do not need energy, guys. We do not need energy. Uh, I'll save that. I'll put this one over here. Uh, I hit for 70, which is in range of knocking everything out. So at this moment, I think I'm going to just retreat into the Crocorock. Uh, go for a nice corkscrew punch. We're going to take our first knockout, hope to get that Crocodile, because we are set up. Uh, we get Espeon. Espeon is good. If I can manage to get it. Uh, my opponent just puts up another Gothita. Not ready to send out that Stuffle yet. Uh, does drop a second energy down on the Cosmog, hoping for that Lunala or something to come up. We're going to get a Coffer Grigus down. We're going to get Espeon down. This is, this is looking nice, guys. Uh, we're going to try and set up Kofagrigus. And I'm just going to go for another knockout here. Again, looking for that Crocodile. Can we get it? No, we get another energy. Really? We don't need it. My opponent is having to sacrifice all these little guys in order to keep these two cards afloat. It just gets another energy. Dust Gathering does not need three. Oh my, we got another energy. Ooh, okay, so we're just going to put this one down here. Fully set up the Cofagrigus. We are set up with Espeon. We're looking nice. We're looking nice. Corkscrew Punch will take us to land it. And unfortunately, this is looking very one-sided. Uh, we got another Cofagrigus. Does not need to go on. The Estuffle comes in. Who will hit me for 60 unless my opponent evolves? But then, even then, ooh, hits me for 80 because of the Kukui. Does he get the beware? Does he get the beware? No. So we're going to take 80 here, which is a bit of a downer. We're going to get you a mask, which isn't very helpful here. Uh, I can drop another dark energy down onto the Sableye, but we will go for the corkscrew punch, knock out this stuffle, and my opponent is left with a Cosmog. We get a, we get a little baby sand dial. Uh, not the one we were looking for. My opponent put in a uh, bit of a fight, but this was not a great win for them, or a great game for them. Uh, showcasing that the Lunala deck can brick. Does switch into the Litwick. Uh, oh, he's going to knock me out, which is great on my opponent's part. And uh, at this point, we just go for the Ka for Grigus. We get another Eevee.
Hmm. We're gonna try and set up this good old Scraggy. And uh, we're gonna go for a lockup because I have no tool cards in hand. I wanna make sure I guarantee to hit. And we need one more turn. Unless my opponent pulls off some random shenanigans, it looks like we have this one in the bag. Uh, it goes for a Howl. Looking desperately to try and pull up that evolution for Cosmog. Potion heals up that Litwick. Uh, still, ooh, never mind. I was about to say still a range of knockout, but it is not now. Uh, this is a game now. This is still a game. Three energies down on Cosmog. Rescue Stretcher will bring back what? Stuffle. Stuffle returns to the field. If my opponent manages to get a beware now, it might be a bit of a game. I actually thought we had this one in the bag, and we may not. And I still don't have any item cards I can search for, so Sableye is not really doing us any good. Um, and I have not grabbed any more evolutions, which has also been a bit of a problem. Uh, we are going to go for the lockup. Now this is a two-shot KO. My opponent will put a bit of pressure on me, but I still should take out the Lampant, and that leaves us just one more prize. My opponent is getting so much card draw, and still nothing. And finally gets the beware. Now we have to beware of that problem. <laughs> Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Now this is a game. Uh, does play the Mimikyu. Uh, he does need three energy on that Beware, though. And unfortunately, he has lost. Uh, it's only four. So we're going to take 30. And uh, we get Psychic Energy. We really do not need more energy. We're, we're good. I'm gonna go for a lockup. Can we get a Pokemon that is good? No, we get more energy. I know there's so I know there's like 18 energy in the deck, but that's insane how much energy we've had. The biggest threat is currently on the field. My po I cannot knock out my opponent right now. Uh, I get another energy search. Are we serious here? Is there anything else in this deck? The two Umbreons are here, like. I look at all these cards! I could have gotten any of this, but instead, I'm gonna get more energy. And that's with me pulling the energy at the start, too. You gotta remember that. I pulled energy. So we're just gonna try and set up this Espeon because I think... <clears throat> now my opponent, I believe, knocks me out this turn, but I've got two other attackers pretty much on the go. Which is great. I can take care of this one Pokemon. We shouldn't have too much to worry about. And the time frame it would take. There's the energy drop. Another Stuffle hits the field. My opponent went through so many cards in that last little bit. That last little bit. Uh, Espeon comes up. We get another energy! Can we stop? <coughs> Alright, Coffergurgus is down. Uh, I can play Sandel, I guess. And we go for a Psy Report. 60 damage to the Beware. You have the Lunala in hand! Oh, that, that is just painful. Your Cosmom is prized, I bet. Another three cards for my opponent. <clears throat> this game is close, guys. This game is close. <clears throat> Down comes the Salandit. He can hit me, but it will not knock me out. And the Beware will also take 20 damage upon hit. He can retreat! There is that option. To retreat into the other Beware and hope to set up. And he is gonna do that going into the second beware, but I am in a very good proximity of knocking this thing out. Alright, we have the Dark Fang. We're gonna try and set up our Crocodile, or Crocorock, one more time. 
We go for a nice side report, and this will put him pretty much in range of knockout if if my opponent uh, decides to go for a hit on the next turn, <clears throat> because I'll be able to take him out with another Psy report. Passes the turn. Pokemon communication. Well, at this point, I can just drop my Eevee and go for a Crocorock. Oh, he, he's been in the deck the entire time. He's been in the deck the entire time. Uh, actually, it'd be better to get Scrafty at this point. Just in case. But a Psy Report will put him in 10 damage range. Uh, and again, he's not got too much. He has been bricked most of this game. And even when he finally did get the Pokemon starting to flow with the Bewares, it just wasn't enough. We were already fully set up. It wasn't fair. Sableye is so good in the early game. And there is the game. My opponent gives the concede and good game to my opponent. Um, again, we had a very easy first little bit there with the ability to use Sableye, get a few turns to set up our energies. Um, we had that nice flow. We had a lot of basics right at the start. We had a nice turn of events, um, especially with Krokorok getting those nice one-shot KOs instead of having to do two shots. It was nice. Um, of course, we got energy hit really badly near the end game so if my opponent was able to start picking up some knockouts i may not have been able to come back um so that may have been a glaring weakness and uh you know some of our pokemon just don't hit very hard like kafagrigus so we'll see how it goes in round number two but i'm sure we will not be seeing that kind of a game again all right guys match number two is against morgan the frog playing a noivern deck fitting for the noivern or the noibat king <clears throat> anyway, we are going to win this coin toss, so we are going to play first, which is absolutely wonderful. And, uh, let's see. We start with a Chansey. Chansey! Let's see if this continuous tumble can get us some knockouts. Uh, because it'll take two turns anyway to set this thing up. I'll probably use these Psychics. If I can get an Eevee, I'd love to get this Umbreon down. Um, but you never can guess it when you have theme decks. You just never know! We get Chadot. So the colorless Pokemon are here to play. Uh, we are going to drop a nice Psychic Energy down. And that's it. That's all we got. We got a nice new Pokemon. We got Chansey set up. And one more turn, Chansey will be fully set up. Uh, we get a Psychic Energy from our opponent. Literally tie for tie now. <clears throat> we got a Coffer Grigus, which is cool. We're going to go for a nice Psychic Energy. And we are going to go for a Continuous Tumble. If we land three, we knock out. One. Just one. 30 damage, though, is still decent. I will take it. It means I only have to land two on the follow-up. My opponent is nowhere near able to do that, but he does have a Noivern down. Ooh, that pretty holographic Noivern. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so Psychic Energy down onto the Teddy Ursa. It goes for a flop. Hits me for 30. We are hit for hit right now. And uh, we are going to get an Eevee. Oh, yeah. We're going to just start setting this thing up. All right, so Continuous Tumble. One more time. Can we land them? We got one. We got two. We got three. We knock out Teddy Ursa. Oh yeah, baby! Chancy putting on that pressure. We're going to take a dark energy. And uh, up comes Noivern. Noivern, I don't want to do this to you, buddy. You are a very pretty soul. But I do not want to do this to you. And another Noivern! Psychic energy down. You can go for tuning. You get to shuffle your hand into your deck. And then draw a card number equal to your opponent's hand so you can draw four interesting i knew the card i just haven't seen it in a while all right so we're gonna drop umbreon oh yeah baby let's look at this umbreon and we're gonna just start continuing to set this thing up and uh, i'm gonna continue for continuous stumble i think i'm too big to get out of here oh no i can get out of here anytime i want this chance is not bad unfortunately with me saying that he then does not land any hits uh, i could have actually gone for the confuse ray done more but unfortunately i did not you do not want to go for tuning now because you only get two energy or two cards uh zorak goes down we see a chrysalia you can go for tuning now because it'll just change the two cards in your hand and that is exactly what he's doing she's doing because it's the lady <clears throat> um but we are going to get a nice coffee 
we're gonna get a nice dark energy and now is the time I'm gonna get this guy out of here um you can you can knock me out in one shot <clears throat> That may have been a really bad play. I have to go for the Shadow Shutdown, don't I? Or hope for Confuse Hacks. I'm going to be 20 damage away, uh, which is a lot easier to pick up. One? Oh, so close to getting rid of all that energy. But if my opponent gets this energy drop, <clears throat> they'll be able to go for it. Nicely done. Heals up. Do they have the energy in hand for this good old Noivern? No, they don't! They do not have the energy. I'll be able to knock this thing out. That was a much better play for us um, than I ex expected it to be. Um, I really don't know who to put this energy on. I'm going to put it back on Jancy. We're going to go for the Shadow Shutdown. And it's just going to knock out my opponent. I'm going to land both tails. Um, that's alright. That's alright. The energy is going to the discard anyway. We see the Rocky Helmet, which is great. We'll put that on Chansey. Um, but the Noivern is going down. My opponent now sends in Cresselia, who's a much higher HP Pokemon. But has a very long way to go in order to get energy down. And my opponent has very little left. Um, very, very little left. Which is not great for them. But this Umbreon is proving to be a powerhouse. Giovanni's scheme will help her out a ton, though. By playing it, she'll be able to get up to either one of two choices. Plays the Noivern, and now she'll be able to draw five cards. She doesn't... Oh, she played the Sky the last turn. Never mind. Anyway. Chancy, you get a new Rocky Helmet. <clears throat> the Eevee Light would have been better, but unfortunately is not going to be the case today. Uh, we are going to just go for some massive damage. <clears throat> and we would have gotten all her energy if she had any. <clears throat> and uh, unfortunately my opponent is in a very slow spot right here, but it will be getting a lot of cards from this. Uh, puts her back up to 5, which is great for my opponent. Not so good for me. Uh, dark energy down onto the Zora in the back. And passes the turn. We get a churn, though. And I then get the Eviolite. I'm going to hold on to this dark energy because neither of those three Pokemon I really want to set up. But we are gladly going to take out this Cresselia right now before anything goes wrong. <clears throat> Thank you. Ooh, I get a Crocodile. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the other parts to it. One episode, one match, we get both parts, not the crook. Now we get the crook, no parts. My opponent actually had a Wally. That's awesome for them, because I'm going to be in trouble. <clears throat> Three, six, nine, twelve. But passes. Oh, this could be bad. <clears throat> I'm not in range of knocking this thing out. But I'm still going to do it. Uh, because then, if I do knock out, I get nothing. I could have I could have knocked off the energy. Um, but, uh, oh, there's that energy that I did not want to see. Now, what is good is, even if I don't knock it out with Chansey, unfortunately, my Umbreon does go down, which is a very big problem. Because that was our... That was our win a condition um, I guess I'm putting energy on chat -ot. but this continuous tumble can knock this thing out yes it will knock it out awesome so Zoroark is gonna go down as well we've taken out his evolution her evolutions which is great uh, but we're not getting Pokemon to kind of reestablish our base ground uh, and right now I need to land five coin flips to knock this thing out in one shot. It ain't gonna happen, guys. My opponent pulls an Ursa Ring, um, drops a Ralts down, but no energy. We get a Young Mask. Um, I don't want to play that. I already have two down. 
really do not want to do that right now. Um, I don't want to play the energy either. Continuous tumble. Fails me. Oh. Come on, Chansey. Hit that Noivern. Hit that Noivern. I don't like saying that, but hit that Noivern. Passes the turn. Energy search. Okay, so we get the energy. They get the Pokemon. I see you, big dog. I see you. I see you. All right, so we're just going to go for a continuous tumble. Hope to hit one. I was, I was actually specifying that I wanted to hit one. I was kind of hoping that we would continue going and say one, two, but, but it stopped. And my opponent draws a Ghastly, evolves into the Curlia, so full bench on their side, no energy. And we get more energy. Oh boy, we got lots of energy, guys. Energy to go around here. And we missed the continuous double again. This is going nowhere fast. My opponent needs three. If he gets a, if tuning goes off, she gets so many cards. But unfortunately, um, oh, gonna confuse us both. Interesting play. Not much we can do there. I really want to get rid of that tuning now that I'm looking at it. Okay, I see you. We need a Coffer Grigus. Let's get this stuff out of my hand. Before uh, before she goes for that tuning, I want to make sure my hand is not as big as it was. I still need to go for Continuous Stumble. I'm knocking myself out. Now they get the tuning. Which is a big problem. Because now she's in a position to play. Now she's in a position to play. I've got no choice, I gotta continue. Oh, can we please land a heads to knock this thing out? Oh my Jesus! Gengar is on the field. My opponent has an amazing field position! I can't grab an evolution Pokemon to save my life, and she's already fully set up pretty much with a professor's letter. Ugh. Like, I still need to land four heads. Four? Four on the Noivern. Passes because they do not need a tune. Coffer Grigus is in the building, guys. That's going to save us the game. Guarantee ya. I got nothing I want to play. Nothing! I've got no choice. Okay, we land it. We can continue. Can we do damage? Come on! Ugh. Dark energy on Noivern. That thing is set up. Passes the turn though. Wants me to take myself out. I'm not going to let you take that prize. I would rather you get rid of my chat up. And I meant to attach an energy drop to it. But it's okay. Now you got to go through confusion. The only downside is I screwed that up because I meant for my chance to go down. Now he can easily take me out. I made a big misplay there, but he's going to hit himself. Yes. And now I just need to drop an energy down onto it. We'll go for that good old peck, and Chadon is picking up a knockout! Chadon is picking up the knockout! Oh, that is so good! Alright, so Dark Energy. I don't need energy, though. I need other Pokémon! This is a Pokémon game. My opponent plays the Ursa Ring. Now, has an energy drop onto it. Has a second energy onto it. Now, he can grab my Chansey, which is fine. Now... As much as that's a good card, I don't quite need it. 
I'm going to confuse you. Um, because I can't do the damage anyway. So this way I can confuse my opponent, and if he wants, if she wants to go for the attack, she's got to do coin flips, um, which is a lot scarier to go for. It gets that three energy drop though, and will be able to switch in one of her Pokemon. Does she attack though? And she fails it. That's thirty more damage onto this Ursa Ring. Oh yeah, baby. Um, I don't need Dark Claw. That's why I haven't pulled it with the Sableye. Um, and I don't really need the energy, so I can, I'm not going to bother setting up Chansey, but I'm going to go for a pack, and lose 30 more, we're halfway through this Earth Ring, which is absolutely insane, we should not have this kind of luck right now. Uh, we've had bad luck in terms of draw, but in terms of luck in over here, okay, our luck was terrible with Chansey, so Chansey's luck is done. Four energy is now on this Earth Ring. Will hit me for a lot of damage. Hit me for a lot of damage. And fails the confusion one more time. Oh man, I feel your pain, my friend, because we are going to knock you out with a Chatot. Chatot taking the game by force! We had a nice setup on that one. Um, but unfortunately, again, we hit the end game where it was just energy, 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 and nothing else. We were unable to get anything but energy. And we got 100 coins there, which is great. Um, but we managed to scoop up another win. Um, Confusion Hacks really played a big one in that second game because, for one, um, I may have gotten another coin flip on the Chansey, which would have been more damage on Noivern. Um... The Noivern would have been able to hit me, but taking damage from the Rocky Helmet. It's hard to say how it would have all ended up anyway without it. But at the end of the day, we came out with two wins with this deck. Um, overall, there are some very fun cards in this deck, uh, being the Junk Hunt Sableye. Umbreon's really cool. Um, I don't really like the mascot Pokemon being Kofagrigus, just the card isn't very good. You're not going to be throwing away your item cards, or like your tool cards. You just, you're just not going to do it. Um, you need them to consi consistently set up, um, and that damage for 40 is not worth it. Um, I would rather set up another attacker, and that's kind of what we did. Kind of try to set up some things. Of course, I still made misplays. I should have let the chance to go down so that I could have uh, set up my coffer grids to do some damage, but c'est la vie. I, I still got the win. Um, but that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are brand new, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. You guys come out and watch the videos on the regular. Um, we are going to have the second Dark Explorers theme deck go up on Wednesday. And that is going to be the Zoroark Shadows deck. Uh, so you guys are interested in that. Come on back and I'll see you guys in that video. But until then, time out.